Hey, what is up, guys? Wicked95 here, back with another video. Welcome to Wicked's Action Figure Reviews. And today I am back with another uh, unboxing to do for you guys. This time I have the um, Rival Series 7 Lance Archer. Finally got my hands on the Lance Archer after searching Walmarts, Targets, everywhere. Um, I managed to pick up this Lance Archer at a, um, at a Walmart. And uh, it was my local Walmart. <laughs> I haven't seen that on Rebel Series 7 in uh, any of the Walmarts that I've been to. Only in Target's the rest of the wave that I got. Uh, I got it at um, Target, which was Dax, Cash, Matt Jackson, Nick Jackson, and Nyla Rose. It was um, kind of weird finding these in Target's for the first time because I would only find like one or two. Um... But finally got the whole set here with Lance Archer, the only one that I needed. Nyla Rose and Lance are the um, the chases in this set. It is kind of weird because um, from doing the review of all this, this was uh, the set that was uh, lacking in terms of accessories, really. Dash and Cash got um, the, the titles and the, the jackets, but they were rubber. And they kind of were bulky, and they don't really think like... Uh, a jacket would be an accessory, but if it was soft good, it would have been a, a epic. Same thing with the Matt and Nick. They only came with the with the rubber jackets, um, nothing else. No interchangeable hands though, which that's that's really what um what I would want in this as well. Nairo Rose had uh, the soft goods and the title, the women's championship, which it was all right. And Lance, well, he comes with nothing. No accessories whatsoever, no jackets, no nothing, no interchangeable hands. So in terms of accessories, he's the one that has nothing. The rest at least have one item. But if you're talking AW sets, um, I think this set is the one that lagged most on accessories, I believe. If I'm wrong, let me know in the comments what set uh, was worse than this in terms of accessories. But I believe... This one's the, the worst one. I can't wait for a Rebel Series 8 to hit shelves. I know it's uh it took a while to get two people's uh houses from the ringside order, but I didn't pre-order it. I stopped pre-ordering the Unrebel series. Um I think five was the last one or six. Um because they were easier to find in stores, they were hitting shelves more and more, so I just decided to stop pre-ordering and getting them in stores. Uh, but I am still uh, collecting every Unrivaled Series uh, figure. I am missing the Brandy Rhodes Unrivaled Series 1A. The original one. Which, tracking one of those, uh, it's going to be quite pricey. But you can see right here, Lance Archer Series 7, number 53. There's a T right there for Lance. Um, yeah, the last one in the set. I'm pretty excited to complete the, the Unrivaled Series 7, finally. Um, it will go up in the shelf. I don't think I'm going to use this figure um, unless something comes up, then I'll, 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 I'll use it. But as of now, I have no need for this Lance Archer in my thick fed. He will be going in display. Which I think once I, we get to on Rebel Series 10, I will do a full AW loose collection. Um, like tour type of thing on my shelf because I am planning to I'm just doing these all loose I'm not doing a mint in box for foreign rebel series um, and I am also doing unmatched um, but only the ones that I like and that I think are pretty cool so no accessories like how we said so it's gonna be a pretty quick um, review here for this Lance now I gotta admit this the Lance is one of the best from the set actually in terms of the gear, the likeness, everything about this figure is so sick. Um, the gear is just takes it out of the water, honestly. And then look at this detailing on the back of all of his tattoos. The first thing that you'll notice once you turn him around, he is super loose right here on the on the on the waist, um, which kind of sucks. But if he can stand up in my shelf, I'm I'm, I'm okay with that. Um, yeah, let's. Uh, I guess we'll get into what he has. He has a bunch of tattoos on the back, but he has like this 
like barbed wire going across this uh, whole like uh, bicep area. He does have some words right here. Uh, the lost. Um, oh, I can't read that. I can. I am able to. I was able to read cursive, but these are kind of small. Where I don't really understand people who you judge. Something. Mary, I have no idea. Uh, but he does uh, have this cross right here with like some flames going going about, and then you do have two uh, crosses right here, um, and then you do have this like sun like tattoo on the side. And now the pants are sick, red, black, silver. It does have LA right here with a machine gun. Murder, everybody dies. Murder, murder man, monster, something like that. Um, so it's not sculpted on any details or anything. It's just the pants and there are, have like wrinkly sculpts. I'm not, not sure if these are supposed to be like pockets on the actual gear that he uses. And if these things are supposed to be, um, you know, with detail with like that uh textured material but it's just all wrinkled material so i'm not sure if these are pants from the mocks or like if this is a new mold he does have sculpted a uh, sculpted on a uh, red belt right there the boots are pretty dope honestly uh black boots with red uh on the on the sides here and on the back have the strap the boot straps right there and he does have that sick logo right there with like it looks like to be like a skull of some sort with the red um with the red hair <clears throat> let's see what else there's so much to to look at this uh lance archer and the face is right there uh, gr uh with the brown goatee or uh, brown beard i would say and then the the classic um red red uh hair that lance archer has which is pretty sick i think it's a pretty good head skin if you look at it he does resemble that uh face that he is doing right there he is missing the little beard uh ponytail type of things right here on the front but they didn't sculpt that on. That would have been pretty cool if they did that on him, honestly. Um, I guess he does different looks because he here you can see he has two hanging uh pieces of hair. Or well yeah, maybe. It could be. It's just that they fixed it up this way so it can be one one long strand right here, but with multiple. But honestly, pretty sick figure with having no accessories. Um I, I wish they would have been had an interchangeable hands like like how uh, Mattel does with the close fisted and open mic hands. But it is what it is, guys. Let me know what you guys think. Finally completing the uh, Unravel Series 7 in my collection. Let me know what you guys think about this series. I think it's a um, pretty weak seri uh, series. I mean, Dax and Cash. Finally, we get FTR. Uh, we get a repeat of Mike and Nick again. Uh, third, third Young Bucks we've gotten already. Uh, new Lance Archer and new uh, Nyla Rose as well. But like I said, uh, let me know what you guys think. Make sure to follow my Instagram. I do a figure of the week every Monday, if not like Tuesday, depending on, on the scheduling. Uh, I am going to sell figs there as well. I post a lot of stuff uh, wrestling related when I pick up new things and everything. So you'll, you'll be up to date on Instagram of the items that I pick up and future um, unboxings as well. So make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.